I just want to let you know that even if you don't have scoliosis, this is still perfect for you when you're always sitting down. Welcome to another episode of our Scolio Love. If you're new here, my name is Regina and I have scoliosis. I used to have uneven shoulders. I am walking like this and I feel like this was my normal and my left rib cage is protruding forward. My scapula is very uneven and it hurts to move my shoulders. I couldn't even lift my arm up because it was really that bad and it was hurting. When I got diagnosed with Lyme disease at the age of 30, that was when the time that I really started to feel so much pain that I felt like I was 80 years old. True enough, because of all the inflammation that I have going on with my body, because of Lyme disease and all the other co-infections I have, my blood test actually resulted to same or similar to one of my doctor's patients that is an 80 year old with arthritis and in wheelchair. So yeah, I was in very much in pain all of the time. I couldn't even stay in one position, sitting down or standing for 10 minutes long because I always have to like move around every 10 or 15 minutes. So if you are the same and you feel pain, this is a great every day to do and stretch on your chair to feel an instant relief. All right, when you're ready, all you will need is your chair and you can do this anywhere in your office. Maybe you're working at home, you're editing, or if you're just watching a movie or a show on the couch, this is perfect for you. All right, grab your chair and let's begin. Ideally, I'm going to be showing you stretches with a backrest type of chair. Okay, so I want you first to sit at the edge portion of your chair. And then from here, I want you to open your knees as wide as you can. And then coming into your tippy toes. So lift your heels up, your toes are grounded, and you're gonna place your hands to your knees or your thighs, right? So either way, middle or fingers pointing towards the midline or out, it doesn't really matter. This is gonna depend on how you're feeling, okay? From here, breathe in, lengthen your spine, think that you're tall. And as you exhale, you're gonna draw that left shoulder down towards the midline and look back up exhale here breathe normally we're gonna stay for five four three two and one coming back to your center and you have your tippy toes this allows for activation of your legs and every part of your body right you feel that so you're not slouching you're activated good breathe in Think tall, somebody's pulling the crown of your head up. And exhale, we're gonna do that on the opposite side. Drop the right shoulder towards the midline and look back, look up. Stay here, everything is activated for five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back to your center. Beautiful job. Now feet together and you can now sit down onto your chair and we're gonna start to do cat-cow in a different way seated, okay? Breathe in as you reach your hands up overhead and exhale, let's start to bend to the right first. I like my index finger up. Now from here, you're gonna tuck your rib cage in, meaning you're drawing your rib cage together and bringing it down. So you're not puffing out your chest, right? There's a difference. I want you to get your strong core rib cage down and in. Good. We're staying for three. Just breathing normally, two and one. Back to your center. Let go of your hands. Shake it up for a little bit. And let's do that on the other side, okay? I'm gonna face you. Inhale, reach your hands up. Palms to touch, index finger up. All the way, stretch your arms. Exhale, bend to the left side. Rib cage drawing together and down. Strong core. Good, stay for three, two, and one. Come back to your center. Good job. All right, now this time, same concept. Breathe in, reach up, and exhale. You're gonna grab your elbows with your hands and have your arms out from your head. From here, I'm gonna show you my sides because we're gonna do cat-cow, okay? I'll show you my back here. So you look up, you're gonna breathe in, and now you can rest your head to your arms. Back bending, and as you exhale, you're just gonna tuck your chin to your clavicle as you round your back. 
round, round, round. Again, breathe in. This is your cow tilt or cow pose seated. Look up. Puff out your chest. Back bend. Exhale. Breathe out. <sighs> round your back. Okay, do this repeatedly. You can do this at your own pace if you like it faster or if you like it extra slow. I encourage you to close your eyes and get a feel of each vertebra as you puff out your chest, cow face or cow tilt, and cat pose or cat tilt with your rounded back. Exhale. Few more with your own breath rhythm, grabbing the elbows, and you're feeling your elbows working here too, or your arms. Everything is now burning, right? You feel that. Last set, breathe in, puff out your chest, look up. Exhale, round the back. Good, release the hands, shake it up, bring it down. Just to keep the blood circulation going. All right, we're gonna do one more time, but it's gonna be a little bit different. Breathe in as you reach your hands up overhead. Rib cage in, lengthen your spine. Exhale, you're gonna bring your hands to your elbows. Good. Now again, as you breathe in, you're gonna lengthen in your spine, feel tall. And as you exhale, you're gonna point that left leg to the left side and left hand up, release from the elbows and bend to the right. So you're kind of side lunging here, right? If I'm gonna show you my front, this is how it looks. We're staying here and really pulling, side stretching your body. You could even look up for that challenge and then have your arms behind your head. Breathe normally. And when you're ready to come back to your center, let go again, shake it up a little bit. You know, you feel that lactic acid build up. That is normal. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to your elbows. Beautiful job. Relax for a little bit. And I'll show you my side again. Breathe in, lengthen your spine, feel tall. Rib cage tucking in. Beautiful job. Exhale, right hand up and right Leg points to the right and bend to the left side. I'll show you my sides and option to look up. So arms are behind your head. You feel that elbow stretching, shoulders, scapula or your shoulder blades. Three, two, one. Coming back onto your center and shake it up one more time. Good job. All right, for the next one, we're gonna sit down and then you're gonna reach your hands up and then cactus your arms as you exhale. Good. So I want you to focus on your fingertips, right? Open the fingers wide, right? So it's not sloppy. You really feel the energy from each fingertips. If you watch Bring It On, the movie, right? You know spirit fingers, that's what you want, okay? And then you're gonna bring that right elbow down and then left elbow up, making sure that your torso is remaining squared, right? So you're not bending, you're keeping it squared, both shoulders pointing forward. Back to your center and imagine you have a dumbbell, you're holding a dumbbell and it's a little bit heavy. There's that feeling of strength and activation of your muscles, right? But I want you to open your fingers wide, back to center and then the opposite direction again. Right elbow down, left elbow up, back to center, left elbow down, right elbow up, and it's heavy, and you have a dumbbell, right? Open the fingers wide, keep on going, and just breathing normally, right? And you want it as squared as possible. So rib cage tucking in, you're not splaying out your rib cage or chest, you're not doing back bend, right? You're doing this tuck in rib cage and strong core navel towards the spine. Keep on going. You can do it faster, you can do it slower, and you're not sloppy 
energy from your fingertips, spirit fingers. Okay, a few more. And release, shake it up. It's burning a little bit, huh? <laughs> Good job. All right, now for our next one, there's gonna be a lot of shoulders here because this is great for school, you guys. All right, right hand all the way up, breathe in. Exhale, you're gonna bend the elbow and you're gonna tap your back with that right hand. Good. Now, left hand will sweep back, breathe in, palm facing back. And exhale, you're gonna bend the elbow as you lean down and your hand still facing back. I'll show you my back side. Good. Now, from here, you could either stay here as you puff out your chest, breathe in, and exhale, you're gonna lean down as you tuck your rib cage in, almost like rounding your back. But you're really feeling this rounded back as you lean forward, right? And you're just doing this repeatedly. For an extra challenge, if you are up for it, you could actually clasp your fingertips to meet or together. So I want your left shoulder rolling back. And then from there, you could lift that left hand more up higher as you clasp your fingertips behind. Now this is an advanced shoulder mobility exercise. It's okay if you can't do it. A lot of people can't do this, right? So if, especially if you're very tight, you're always on your mouse, right? This is gonna be really hard, right? And now I'm just leaning forward and up, kind of like forward fold, but in a seated position and being mindful that my rib cage is in, right? So I want you to puff out your chest, back bend, and then rib cage in, exhale. Straight spine, good. And this is what I'm trying to do as I fold forward and up. This again requires a lot of shoulder mobility, so if it is a little bit hard for you or a little bit painful and inaccessible, I want you to stay in the other, um, the first hand placement that I showed you over here. This is fine. Okay, good job. Release the bind, slow and controlled, and you wanna shake it up. Whew. How does that feel? You feel that, I know you do. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do that on the other side. Left hand sweeps all the way up, breathe in. Exhale, bend the elbows as you tap the back. Beautiful job. Now this time, the other side. Right hand sweeps behind, breathe in. And breathe out as you lean forward and bend that right elbow. You could either, again, stay here, continuing to do this motion leaning forward or folding it up on your chair good and again either this option easy option or a lot more challenging which is you're gonna draw or rotate that right shoulder back and then you're gonna have that right hand all the way up right clasp your fingertips to meet and being mindful to square your torso Okay, so again, puff out your chest, arch your back, back bend, look up, and exhale, rib cage drawing together and down. That's really hard, I know how you're feeling. Okay, breathe in, and then I still want you to get that rib cage in, exhale down. Good. We're gonna repeat this movement. You could do this at your own pace, with your own breath rhythm and focusing on your shoulder blades, your mobility around your shoulder and spine and just entire your, bo your body entirely. Of course, the more your rib cage drawing in, the more it's harder for your shoulders and the more stretch you get. Now again, this is gonna depend. If you're working on back bending, then you can also do that, that feels good. All right, we're gonna do three more sets. Up, down for three, up, down two, last one, up, down one. And release the bind, slow and controlled, bring it down. Again, that's a little hard, so you don't want to clasp your fingertips, 
to be able to do that forward and back, you could just do the other one. All right, for our next one, you're just gonna cross your legs. So we'll, let's start with the right knee up from the other leg. And instead of doing this, right, your back is rounding, right? I want you to get that really good seated posture, straight spine, and I want your right knee lifted up away from that left thigh, just a little bit, right? And then from here, your left hand will grab the outside of your right knee. Right hand will now sweep back, breathe in, and exhale, you're gonna grab that back of your chair or the backrest and twist your body, look back. Now you could even lift that knee all the way up to even get that compression with your belly if that feels good for you, right? And you can have a help with that backrest of your chair to really twist you back. This is actually the easiest way to really twist yourself with the armchair or arm backrest, rather chair backrest. And you were just seeing here and you're just breathing normally, twisting your body, getting that digestion, circulation, or that compression with your digestion. Okay, a few more. Make sure you're breathing and you're looking back, look towards that right shoulder and release back to your center. Shake it up. <laughs> all right, let's do that on the other side. Left knee all the way up to cross to the other knee or other leg, lift a little bit that knee from the right thigh and then you're gonna hug that knee with the right hand right either the hand or the shoulder and then from here left hand sweeps back breathe in all the way to where you can get your end range and exhale grab the back of your chair and twist your body look back good Everything is activated. You're feeling your compression. You're feeling that lifted thigh. And you're tipping your toes, your energy line, the legs, looking back, twisting, opening the shoulder, this left shoulder, just staying there and just breathing normally. For five more seconds, five, Twist, twist some more. With each exhalation, you could go deeper with the twist. Two and one. Back to your center. And to end, we're just going to do some fold. All right? So have your uh, seated position. I want you to straighten your torso. Spine is long, feel tall. And you're going to exhale, breathe in here. And exhale, fold down. From here, you're gonna clasp your fingertips behind and you're gonna interlace your fingers. Index finger is up and out. Now, you're gonna really draw that index finger, point it up towards the sky. Compress your belly and everything now. You're feeling that compression and you're feeling that energy line from the index finger all the way up, going down to the elbows, to your shoulders and to your spine, to your bum, leg, knee, and all the way down to your heels and your toes. Now we're gonna breathe in for four, three, two, one. Hold your breath, stay in that position for four, three, two, one, and exhale, stay in that position for three, two, one. Hold your breath as you release the bind, coming back up slowly for four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now let's breathe in, reach up, and exhale, palms down to your heart space. Thanking your body for that simple stretch that you did for yourself. Thank you so much for practicing with me on that simple chair yoga. I hope you had fun and I hope you feel a lot better. Make sure that before you leave that you give this video a thumbs up if you ever end up enjoying this stretch and feeling good. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you get notified for another video like this. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! From here, it's like this. And then from here, it's like that. Can you see my toes? Good. All right.
Let's.